Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video wherein I'll be discussing about how to submit an assignment. Now, as you know, I have been continuously receiving emails wherein it's mentioned, please send your uh, details so that uh, we can set, submit an assignment. Or some people do rise, say that uh, we need to know where to submit an assignment. Now, keeping all these things in mind, I thought of uh, just sharing with you how we can uh, submit an assignment. Taking an example, whenever an assignment is uploaded on uh, your Google Classroom, what you need to do is you need to you need you need to log in you need to log in to your uh, account. Now, uh, let's let me assume. Let me open a browser to show this. Here is an account that I have opened. This is my Gmail account. And I am enrolled as a student. Now, once I click on Google Classroom, all my classes wherein I am enrolled as a student are displayed uh, on the screen. Now, once I click on uh, this uh, course wherein my assignment is pending, what I'll do is I'll simply click on the course. Here, I can find three uh, options. One is stream. It means the main screen wherein all the uploads, all the alerts are mentioned. Then second one is classwork and then third one is people. Once I click on classwork, I do get the details of all the classes that are uh, available. Then what I need to do is I need to click on uh, the assignment that has been, I am supposed to submit. Let's suppose this is the assignment that were uh, displayed over here. It will be having an uh, image like this. Once I click on that, uh, it's showing me that I have been assigned this assignment, but I have not responded as of date. Now, what you need to do is you need to click on view assignment. The time you click on view assignment, you can find on the right hand side of your screen your work assigned, add or create mark. Now, this add or create is the button wherein you need to work on. Let's assume once you click on this add or create, you can assign a document from a Google Drive. Now, what, what is this Google Drive? Let's uh, once again go back to the Gmail. I'll click on again this grid-like, uh, grid-shaped icon. I'll click on Google Drive. The time I click on Google Drive, I can get all the documents that, that I have prepared as on day. I can prepare a new document, which can be a Word document that is known as Google Doc, an Excel sheet like Google Sheets, Google Slides, and I can prepare any document. Let's assume if I put a Google document for here, the same document I can add from my Google. Now, to make things more simpler, if you have already prepared a Word document, you can simply click on File, and you can select a file from your computer, and you can upload it. Now, keeping in mind uh, the internet speed, it will be a bit slow. As you can see, you, uh, you have got it. I'll click over here, select files from your device, and I can select any of Devices, any of the files that you can find over here and once you upload it will be displayed here and let me do one more option over here it means we have learned we can attach good documents from google right? we can uh, attach files from our computer or uh, mobile phone we can create documents here on let's suppose i am creating a document now you can see the time i click on create uh, a word document known as google docs is getting created. It's not Microsoft Word, it's Google Docs that is getting created. Uh, what I can do is I can prepare, let's suppose I'll write this is a document, document to test assignment submission using Google Classroom. Classroom. Fine. Once you write anything, it gets saved on, on your drive. And once it gets saved on your drive, you can see the same thing is displayed over here. Here, the file name is given, your document is attached. Let's assume that your document, you have prepared the complete assignment in Google Doc or you have attached it. So you will get that file attached over here. What you need to do is you need to simply click on hand in. The time you click on hand in, it will automatically be assigned to the assignment and I as a teacher will receive a message that uh, the student has already submitted the assignment. Now let me uh, go back uh, to my uh, domain where I can see whether you have submitted an assignment or not. This is as a teacher. Now as a teacher, I go to classwork. I see uh, the assignments that I have given. 
let's suppose I had given an assignment over here. Now you can see one turned in. Four are assigned. So it means five were assigned out of which one has turned in. So I'll click on turned in and you can see Mr. Kirwani over here, the document over here that was that was prepared by the student over here. Now let's assume once I check this document, before I will respond to this document, before I will say that whether this document needs any updation or not, you find yourself that this document is not appropriate. What you can do is you can simply click on unsubmit. Unsubmit means it will not be treated as you have submitted. You can modify, you can click on this document. You can modify this document as and when uh, required. Let's suppose I'll now write uh, two more lines of it. Now, once you are done with it, what you can do is again you can hand it. Now, once you hand in this, the same uh, option that is uh, it will be available for me as a teacher. Once as a teacher, I check the assignment. I can find out. Okay, fine. This was the assignment. I can check your assignment and I can respond to you. It becomes easier for me to mark your assignment and write comments using the Google Classroom platform. Not only this. You can add as many documents as you wish. If I unsubmit it once again, if I find that Word document is not enough, I can click on Add to Create. I can click on Slides. I can click on Sheets. I can, what is Slides? If this is a PowerPoint presentation. This is uh, just like uh, Microsoft Excel. This is uh, wherein you can give your field is uh, good. You can add as many resources as you wish, and you simply need to click on Hand in. Once you click on Hand in, your assignment will be submitted. I hope uh, after watching this video, you will not uh, send me your assignments using email. Rather, you will send your assignments. Uh, you will rather upload your assignments on uh, Google Classroom. Thanks a lot for uh, patiently hearing me.